Hey guys, how you doing? Ron here with Tech Tips to Go. In today's video, we're going to go over how to configure this Samsung T5 on your MacBook Pro or your MacBook Air or any other Mac uh, that you have. Audio jungle. So let's get into it. So. On your Mac, if you're running a MacBook Pro or the newer MacBook versions and you have these two type C to C connectors, I think that's going to be your best bet in terms of um, speed. Um, right now, the Samsung T5, you can see it, it has that type C connector. And on my MacBook Pro, I have a 2018 MacBook Pro, so it has a type C connections. And when I read and write to this, it's very, very fast. It's worth the money. I think they have a T7 now, but this T5 I got last year, and it reads really fast. I think this the speed is 540 megabits per second, so it's really fast. Uh, it works well. I've been using it for a while. I just did a review on it, so um, if you're interested in like videography and lighting and so on, I, I did a, a nice review on it. But anyways, check that out. Let's plug this in, and I'll show you how to install it. Uh, you know what, before I, before I install this, just an FYI, if you're using some kind of dongle or an extension from a USB to one of those um, mini USB type C hubs, it probably won't work. You probably have to direct, uh, direct connect it to one of your ports on your MacBook Pro just so it can supply su sufficient power. So I'm going to disconnect my camera so you won't be able to see my ugly face. So. I'll be back. All right, I'm back. So there is no video. I'm going to plug this in. And you'll notice when I plug that in, you'll see a blue light that goes on to the Samsung T5. And you can see that it's powered on and it's working. Now, if you connect it to a dongle or a mini USB hub, you might see it blue. But for me, it didn't detect it in my MacBook Pro until actually plugged it in directly probably because that mini USB type of hub didn't provide enough power because it was sharing with other ports but anyways let's get into configuring it so what you want to do is come over to disk utility so click on this little magnifying glass um, and then you can just type in you know disk utility like I have here and just press enter and once you have disk utility you can see that on the left here we actually have it popped up before um, when your Samsung device isn't connected, your T5, you won't see it. So the first thing you want to do is uh, highlight it and then you can erase it. Now what I like to do is I select XFAT and that is pretty much it. Um, you do XFAT and just erase. Sometimes I've seen, I have another Samsung T5 and I didn't have to do this. I popped it in and it worked, but I just like to do this just, um, just for habit. So you just create XFAT, click erase and you're done. And it literally takes seconds. I'm not going to do it because you can see that I already have about 132 gigs of videos on it. So anyways, it writes pretty fast. Let me just show you how fast I transfer something. So. Uh, let's go to Finder and let me go to one of my movies that is fairly large. So let me take, I did this video, so that's about 526 meg. Let's take this, wow, 2.7 gig. So now I have a shortcut on my Samsung T5 here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag and drop it. And so I'm going to drag that over there and put it into my Samsung T5. Look how fast it's syncing. So that was four gig in probably three, four, five seconds. So now I can just move these to trash. That's it. So I like to work when I'm working with Final Cut Pro, I'll actually work off of this uh, Samsung T5 
So I'll move a lot of files back and forth from the Samsung T5, my finished files. And then once I'm done with those finished files, what I'll do is I have an external um, NAS, which is a Synology, which is three terabytes. It's not an SSD. It writes a lot slower. But when I finish all my work at night, my workflow is all of the movies that have been finished, I'm just going to take them from my Samsung T5 and put them over to my network attack storage which is my Synology drive and that takes a long time because over the network if you're running wireless you know it's very slow if you're running a wired and you're running only a hundred it's pretty slow but in terms of working with the Samsung one terabyte T5 it's it's worth the money I, I got it for about a hundred bucks but I'd recommend it I think they have a T7 but T5 is cheaper and it's really fast so anyways I hope you like the video Please, please subscribe if you like these types of videos. I'm going to be creating more. And I'll see you in the next one.